Yes, a new short form factor of video on learning Lightburn. No ball. Let's get straight to it. Short and concise in under five minutes. Let's go. Text around a circle. Let's see how easy it is. First way is, is to click on the text and what you're now looking for is a blue circle. I haven't got a blue circle and if you're scratching your head out to find it, if you zoom out a little bit, for some reason, sometimes, instead of the blue circle being within the text, it's out here. So if you click on it, you can start dragging it into a circle. So we've done that. We can drag it all back on the screen and we have text going around a circle. Now, if you want to rotate the text, you can hold shift and rotate it. Then if you want to change the text, again, click on it. You can change the way that the text is arranged around the circle. So you can change the height of the text, which you see if you're making the text bigger, is then of making the spaces between the text bigger, so it's closing the gap. Then you can also um, use the H space to close it right up. So if you wanted it right up there, you can close the gap. Then you have options of where the text is. So at the moment, X is, well, we do Y first. Y is at the bottom. If you go uh, top, it's try to put it inside the circle. But now you're going to have to adjust your text size because there's no room for it. Middle would be on the imaginary middle of the circle, which we're going to cover in the next stage. And then top is the top. And X and Y... That is how it is justified. So the only issue you can get with this there, the blue dot is there. So you can see the text is following the curves. So that's one easy way to do it. So let's just delete that one. The second way is I've got the same text. So we just bring that up. I'm going to draw a circle. So I'm going to hold shift and draw a circle. Get it in the middle of the screen and then we're going to swipe and select them all then right click and apply path to text and there you go so this time we've actually got a circle that we can see so if we click off and then click back on the text you can change the height again and it has the same sort of effect you can then get it near where you want to go and then if you Keep changing those, it will get closer, but the text is growing. So if you want small text and then close the gap, you can change the horizontal space. And you can see the text is staying the same size. So if you're trying to fit it within something, that's the way to do it. Now, look where the red line is. That's the circle. And we're going to do um, Y first. If we go middle, you can see the text is in the middle and then top it's gone on the inside and that one left middle that's some justification but you just have to play with that so again now if you want to change the rotation of the circle you select it all you get the handles up then and then you can turn it around so you can turn it around whichever way you want. So that's it, nice and easy. Again, once you know what to do, like anything, it's easy. So as ever, I wish you a good afternoon. Continue to make some happy smoke and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for making it to the end of my videos. Much appreciated. If you like what I'm doing and I've earned your trust and respect, perhaps you would consider subscribing. If you leave a comment, I will answer them as well. And if you give me a thumbs up, it will put a smile on my face. Perhaps you would like some of the videos popping up now. See you in the next one.